Good morning, Chip. Happy Saturday. My name is Lulz, and today we are continuing our old, good old fashioned Bob Ross sing. <laughs> Not sing alongs. What, what was I about to say just then? Uh, paint alongs. It's fairly simple. We just follow along as the master does his work and we attempt to emulate what he does with a graph with a graphing a uh, drawing tablet got a fairly old one here and I like to use Krita for my work this is after all a drawing for a painting program so to speak I always have to relearn how to use this program though it's kind of wild, so sometimes I'll end up pausing the actual episode from time to time. I'm going to scroll through here and see what we're going to be using today. Hmm. Of course, I also wonder... I wonder if my voice would change much if I were to change the kind of noise suppression I'm using from R noise to something else. I always thought that my voice sounded a bit strange on stream, but then again, it did sound pretty good one time when I was just keeping it very light. Uh, actually, it sounds a little soft now right now. Let me increase it a little bit. How about right now? How about right now? Okay, so it's not peaking. It's uh, stopping right before yellow. I don't know why I'm able to control it a lot easier some days and not others. I guess that's normal, right? That's just how things are sometimes with these sort of programs. Hmm. This one looks interesting. A walk in the woods. If you would like to follow along, here is the episode we're going to be playing. We're going to be doing Bob, 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 Bob Ross's... Ha. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Wrong fuck. Uh, we're going to be doing Hi. Bob Ross's A Walk in the Woods, Season 1, Episode 1. Hmm? This is not the first one, is it? No way. I'm Bob Ross. If this is his uh, first one? It is his first one. Interesting. Yeah, I might as well do the first one. Whatever. Whatever. I'm Bob Ross, and for the next 13 weeks, I'll be your host as we experience the joy of painting. Joy of painting. I think each of us, sometime during our life, has wanted to paint a picture. I think there's an artist hid in the bottom of every single one of us. And here we will try to show you how to bring that artist out, to put it on canvas, because you too can paint almighty pictures. You know, we have avoided painting for so long because I think all of our lives we've been told that you have to go to school half your life, Maybe even have to be blessed by Michelangelo at birth to ever be able to paint a picture. And here Mood. we want to show you that that's not true. That you can paint a picture right along with us. Each week we'll use the same colors, we'll use the same equipment. Mm -hmm. So if you have your brush and palette ready next week, you can paint right along with us. I'd like to go over some of the equipment that we'll use before we start. The brushes that we use. I'll be using very large two and a half inch and one inch natural bristle brushes. Now these are natural bristle. Be sure you, you don't start with a nylon brush. Natural bristle, he says. We'll use an almighty palette knife. Natural and this bristle. is much different than the traditional palette knife. It is not thin and flimsy. It's a firm palette knife. And with this, we can make fantastic things happen. Let's go over the colors that we'll Strange. use. We're going to start out here 
with titanium feels white. Feels like my choices here Taylor for green, paint and blue, for uh, brushes has changed a bit. Brown, alizarin crimson, sap green, cad yellow, and permanent red. Let me go ahead and bring up the hex codes for Bob Ross's paints too. So we can use his exact colorations. Here we go. I'll have that in the background a bit. So we can pick from it at will. Okay, just rearranging things in my desktop here so it's of more important stuff will be easier to acquire. There we go. Pronin red, not bright red? Interesting. And I wonder why... Why do my brushes look so different now? I don't remember any of these. look a little bit different. Very different, in fact. Hmm. Did Krita get updated recently? So what I need here are brushes. I don't need pens. I mean, this is the brush tool, right? <laughs> Where's my palette knife? Oh, I'm dumb. It's because ink is selected. Let's uh, choose the paint tools then. Here we go, paint tools. Almighty paints. This must be watercolor, so bad. Yeah, it's watercolors. natural horse air brush and finding which one of these does what you want to do is also kind of a skill and a half honestly and this is so good for doing mountains I remember that one that's the closest I think to a natural brush this one is a little bit more digital this one's like a smaller version, and this one is like... These are more... Like, finer paints. So we'll probably stick with... More... Rough ones like this. That's pretty good, actually. I wonder if I can... It would be nice if I could select actually i have a brilliant plan make this easier on myself go ahead and screenshot these colors here I'm going to name this bob colors <laughs> file open
Now where did I put that? my desktop there we go so now I can just choose from here anytime I need to use a specific color should make life a little bit easier I can't believe this is actually what phthalo green looks like. It doesn't look like green to me. It looks more like a blue. Is this correct? Let me get a second opinion really quick, just to make sure. Hey Millie, good morning. It's going okay. I woke up a little bit uh, late this morning, but managed to get everything set up for an art stream. How about you? What you up to? Right now I'm just checking to make sure the colors that I'm using here uh, the hex codes I'm using for these colors are correct, and they appear to be so far, but let me just, I'm just getting a second opinion to make sure. not match what is shown here. I thought it looked different. Hmm. Let's check out Thalo Green really quick. Just to... I'm fairly sure... Oh, no, they're fairly accurate. I think. My old art teacher always said that Humans are very bad at something like this, color correction, at um, memorizing or identifying colors. That's why I have to rely sometimes on the machine to do it for us. It's probably correct. So we'll stick with this one. Hey, Lenarth, how are you this morning? To do some Bob Ross. I'm gonna go ahead and get the episode out for in case anyone on stream would like to follow along. Hey Winter, good morning. Suffering trying to get my work done. Oh, I'm sorry, Millie. I hope you were able to get your work done today. I'll give you my good, the chill vibes that I'm acquiring from this skit. From, I'll give you the chill vibes that I'm acquiring from existing right now. Also, why did my YouTuber Plus model disappear? something go wrong? Did I close it or something? Or did it crash? I wonder how long it's been my... it's been down, too. There we go. I don't know what happened there, but we're back. 
That was very strange. So, apparently, or good evening to you then. It's the, wait, yeah, you're in the Philippines. Of course, it'd be evening. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> So we're gonna be following along, and I chose a chose one at random, but for some reason it ended up being season one, episode one. I'll go ahead and restart the episode since people are actually starting to arrive now. Hi, I'm Bob Ross, and for the next 13 weeks, I'll be your host as we experience the joy of painting. I think each of us, sometime during our life, has wanted to paint a picture. I think there's an artist hid in the bottom of every single one of us. And here we will try to show you how to bring that artist out, to put it on canvas, because you too can paint almighty pictures. That's right, you too you know, can paint almighty pictures. We have avoided painting for so long because I think all of our lives we've been told that you have to go to school half your life, maybe even have to be blessed by Michelangelo at birth to ever be able to paint a picture. And here we want to show you that that's not true, that you can paint a picture right along with us. Each week we'll use the same colors, we'll use the same equipment. So if you have your brush and palette ready next week, you can paint right along with us. Damn right. I'd like to go over some of the equipment that we'll use. He has always start. been based. The brushes that we use. I'll be using very large two and a half inch and one inch natural bristle brushes. Now these are natural bristle. Be sure natural you bristle. don't start with a nylon brush. We'll use an almighty palette knife. And this is much different than the traditional palette knife. It is not thin and flimsy. It's a firm palette knife. Firm with palette this, knife. Fantastic things happen. Let's go over the colors that we'll use. We're gonna be using the following We're colors. We're gonna start out here with titanium white. Titanium white. Thalo green. Thalo green. Prussian blue. Prussian blue. Van Dyke brown. Van Dyke brown. Alizarin crimson. Alizarin crimson. Sap green. Sap green. Cad yellow. Oh shit! I'm and this permanent red. Um, we'll my bad. Each and every week it's every actually this one, this do. one, this one, this one. So you one. don't have to go out and buy 1,500 different kinds of colors and brushes. You need very little equipment to paint with this. See? Another thing, we'll do no tracing of patterns on here. No tracing of patterns. We start with a vision in our heart, and we put it on canvas. And we're here to teach you to be able to do this, too. So, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Right here. All right, here we go, here we go, chat. We're going to start with a big brush. And we're going to cover the canvas with a thin layer of magic white. Now this is a wet on wet technique, so the first thing we're going to do is get the canvas wet. I'll get you wet. All we want is a nice, even, thin coat of paint here. There we go. Oh. Just cover it nicely. No, 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 no. They want us to do... Let's try it. And... an almighty easel when you're doing this. You need an easel that will hold your canvas very firm and allow you to use these big brushes. Okay. Woo! Big brush. Using a large brush like this, it really doesn't take too long to cover your canvas. And if you get a hair like that, just pop it off of the corner of your brush, flip it away. Flick. Okay. Flick, flick. Now after you get your canvas covered with the magic white, we'll take and make long strokes back and forth to get a nice even distribution of paint on here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Funny story, it may seem kind of pointless for me to uh, cover the easel in white right now because I'm doing digital art. Nice but if you use the blur tool, it actually does blur the white, okay, the uh, white paints with the other paints. With odorless paint thinner. Okay, we'll wash him out. Damn right I am. <laughs> and I beat the brush just to dry the bristles. I'm gonna beat the devil out of it. Now let's take a little bit of cad yellow here. And I think today we'll do a picture that's maybe like we're walking through the woods. And so let's start right here with a little bit of cad yellow with just the least little touch of thalo green in it. A little bit. Uh, and we'll add a little bit more of the green color and we'll begin making little X's. Just like so. Just work that around. Uh, okay. He said had me, he said the yeah, green, right? Without the brush, and we'll go right into some Prussian blue. Yeah. Just add it right onto the brush here. Just go out here, and we're making little crisscross strokes, little X strokes. There. This might be a little bit too much. There is one thing I noticed. I can't very easily, like, 
mixed together colors. To have a light source in this painting. He wanted Prussian blue next, right? Yeah. Once again, this is odorless paint thinner. We do not use turpentine. We do not use turpentine, chat. Remember this. Now, with a nice clean brush, oh, that might be a little too. To add just a little bit of titanium white right here in the center. Let's use this one. There we go. Just a little. And we'll begin working outward. There. By now, maybe you have recognized some of the equipment we're using as something you've seen before. Ah. It's the wrong one. <laughs> I learned this fantastic technique that's, from a that's also too dark. man that I think all of us had enjoyed for many, many years on TV, Bill Alexander. And Bill. It feels like the blue that he's using is a lot lighter than the one that I chose. I wonder if I should have used the so Prussian blue instead. Us. Have some fun. And we'll just blend this out a little bit more here. Okay, let's uh, attempt to. Hmm. Maybe it's this one. Here we have a nice smooth sky. There we go. Ah, there we go. This is the blunt tool. Okay. okay, we'll clean the brush one more time. Now, let's start putting in some. Let's put in some almighty trees here. We're going to start with a little bit of alizarin crimson and a touch of Prussian blue. Now the Prussian blue is a hundred times stronger than the crimson. So it's kind of just a little blue and a lot of crimson. And here we're going to begin. He said Prussian blue and, and a in. little bit of crimson, right? Yeah. He's moving a little bit faster in the initial in the first episode. I remember in the I remember in some of the later episodes he's a lot slower and it's easier to follow along with him, but right now he's just a little bit difficult to keep up with. I guess that's because it's the first episode and he hasn't met his like um cadence yet. Basic tree shapes. So just bend the brush. Bend the brush. Right? Those little leaves and branches. Alright. So this one I actually do need to pause the vid so I can keep up. He's kind of a little bit fast. But basically he wants you to do this thing where you just sort of... Well, first I'll need to choose an appropriate brush, right? So it's like... Is it this one? It's one of these. Um, hmm. This is one of the downsides to using digital, going from digital to traditional. You can't really change the sh change the angle of the brush as easily. You kind of have to improvise a bit. Good morning, Yuruki Chan. How are you this morning? We're just doing some Bob Ross paint along. If you would like to join in, I have the episode in front of me. Just pop right out at you. There he comes. These little son of a guns hiding your brush, and you just have to push them out. I'm just pushing them out of my brush, chat. This is your world, your creation. Let's put a little one right here. And maybe we'll just put some little grassy areas coming down through here. And right there, there's one. Pushing quite firm here. This is why I say I'll you push need you firm. easel when you're doing this. An easel that's strong. Okay. Ah. Ah, shit. No, we Maybe are definitely backspacing in that one. We'll add another one. Maybe a there we go. Over here. Thank you. Because that was a legitimate mistake. Pushing the wrong button to my... Uh... There he is. And there's no secret to this. Anybody can paint. All you need Anybody is can a paint. Dream in your heart, a little practice. Look at there. Already, we have the beginning of a beautiful picture. We need to catch up with him, chat. 
Sleepy Kato, welcome to the stream. How are you this morning? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. If you would like to follow along, I do have the uh, episode right here. It is literally Season 1, Episode 1. <laughs> You're all good? Just lurking before you stream? Okay. Well, thanks for the lurk. Much appreciated. I'm just going to catch up with Bob really quick because I am kind of falling behind. In the initial episode, he wasn't as good about um, slowing down so the viewer can actually keep up. So I need to, I really do need to like catch up or I'm going to be falling, I'm, I'm falling behind a little too much at the moment. Happy little trees. We actually don't have much down here right now, do we? All right, I think we caught up. Here we have the tree shapes, a light source. Looks to me like it's early in the morning. Very early in the morning, he looks like. Just like in real life. Okay. He's pushing now, it all the way down here. Let's put trunks in these trees. And for that, we'll take a little bit of. Van Dyke Brown. And let's just lay in some basic trunks here. He's gonna be laying some a trunk in me, chat. Let's see, is this one a proper one to use? Van Dyke Brown. Okay. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah. We need to use one of these, which is... I don't like how it looks too uniform, I guess. Too perfect. I guess we could use this one. There we go. It's just. And maybe we'll put a little limb right here. Like so. Maybe some little something right there. There we are. This little fellow over here, he needs a trunk too. So we'll put one right in here. And maybe some limbs up in here. Right through here. There we go. Just some indications here and there. And some little sticks and twigs. Okay, maybe over in. Here. Indications of something more beyond the painting. 